Hi everybody, it's been a while. Um, so I'm here to show you my end of the month completed pages along with uh, my Kirby Resins colouring group scavenger hunt pages right at the end of the video. So if you want to skip right to the end to watch those, you can do or you can watch the entire video of my completed pages for the month of January. So I am going to do it in order as I coloured them. And we are going to start with the first one, which is Alien Worlds. Um, I started this on the 30th of December, but finished it on the 1st of January. Um, and it was part of the scavenger hunts. Um, <clears throat> you'll have probably seen it. I do apologise for any shine. I will try and um, like lift it so you can't see it shine, you know, excess coming from light. But uh, this one, I the mediums I used were Faber Castell Polychromos, Black Posca Pen, and a colour cube card from the Sarah Renee Clark's uh, colour cubes, which was card number three seven one. I haven't got that to hand at the moment, but uh, it was they're coming in. They're coming in right, uh, really good, and for you know if you're having a really sl good slump, uh, don't know what colours to do. Um, I've been putting them in the uh, random number generator, clicking on it, going straight to the cube that uh, the number's showing for, and then I'm using that particular card for, for the pages. And it comes in really, really good handy. Um, I know they used to be £90, £90 shipped, but I think I got them for £60 shipped. If you, if you can afford it, definitely get them if you struggle for colours. Um, so, yeah, as you can see... I managed to finish this page. Um, I think I could have done better, but I'm glad it's done. I haven't done much in this book to start with. Um, I did this one for the community, but uh, community colour along, uh, like I think it was last year or year before. Um, and I've literally, I think I've done one more. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, just this one uh, that I did. Uh, ages ago but uh, it's still nice to see this i tried to to do the same as the front cover to be fair on that one um and i liked how it turned out i want to get all the same he's like you know colors from purples i tried to make it look like that but yeah i'm not here for that one so yeah that was that one the next one i would like to show you is from fragile worlds um this one is find it nope i've not got many like loads left to do in this to be fair um i need to take that out <laughs> i need to find i should mark these before i start doing it but um page 33 Oh, close. There we go. So the, it was this one that I uh, did for the scavenger hunt. I hate that glare, but I like to have light so you can see the the deepness, you know, the, t uh, the depth of the colour. So with this one, I used Faber-Castell Polychromos. Um, let me just bring this a little bit closer so I can see. I use my favourite Castle Polychromos uh, pen pencil to draw extra trees. So as you can see in the background, on the original picture, you've only got uh, this branch, this branch, this one and this one. Uh, and then you can see where Kirby's leaves are. But I added the extra uh, branches, um, leaves and these extra berry things at the back um and then i used my blue pan pastel for the black background um and them are to die for i really want to get the full set of those but they're going to cost a, a, an arm and a leg um but I, I really found the pan pastels to be so much easier to use than compared to other pastels um uh, i bought myself a set 
on Vinted and then I had one sent to me via a Christmas present from Claire, which was the black one. So I've, I've got a, a, a good little range at the moment, not much, but <laughs> uh, I'm glad I've got the blues for like the sky. And he don't, you don't use a lot either, which makes it even more better. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. I also forgot to add that I did use uh, the Jelly Roll Glaze Pen for the eye. I don't know if you can see. I'll try and... There we go. So I used the Jelly Roll Glaze Pen on that. Uh, and white gel pen just to give it a little bit of an highlight for the, from the light source. But yeah, a really, really good one. And this one was one... The first page of 2024, to be fair. Um, as I said, I started the, the Alien Worlds one on the on 30th of December, but didn't finish it up first. So, uh, yeah, this one was my first one. Another one I really, really thoroughly enjoyed. As I say, I've, I could do with finishing this book, to be fair. Um, the next one I would like to show you will be this one which is uh, Anna Carlson's party book. Now, uh, before I, I finished doing live streaming for the foreseeable, um, I decided I was going to buy this book, and every time it was someone's birthday, on that particular uh, live stream, if it was before or after, I'd do it, the, the one before the birthday actually, actually came around. Uh, and I wanted to use this as a way of showing uh, thanks to everybody that's following me um and coloring a page for the birthdays so this one was uh for Catherine Lawn's birthday on the and i did it on the 5th of january's live stream and it was the uh unicorn page which is this and it's a really really nice book you'd think that the paper quality would be rubbish but it isn't it's the exact same as all the other books you know the quality of the paper um and it's it's a really lovely little book definitely one to add to your collection and i've also got the space book which that's really really cute um so with this all i used on this page was my uh artex pencils and my spectrum neo silver and gold for the because those balls reminded me of those silver balls that you used to get on cakes and stuff. Um, and then I used the gold spectrum one on, on the ones and on the little star on a, on a button. Um, but yeah, that, that's all, all I've got to say about this page. I did like it. I think I could have done better. Um, but I managed to complete it on a live stream, which makes it even more better, you know. Oh, and I used a yellow Posca pen. I've, I didn't write that down, but, yeah, a Posca pen on the yellow dots. But, yeah, um, I'm, I'm hoping to be back at some point. I don't know when, um, as I've said in, in the uh, community post, um, I'm just taking some time out because of my own issues and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back at some point and I'll keep you all updated via community tab anyway. But, yeah, I really enjoyed doing that one. Something small and simple to do. Um, the next one, these three are from the Disney Meccants. Me 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 Meccants? Meccants? <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, I did these for uh, Kate's Disney birthday bash tag, which is Kate's Colouring ha Haven. Um, yeah, I need to find it now. There we go. So I coloured this page. I don't know if there's the glare. I'll try and do it like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I coloured this scar page for Kate. Colouring Haven's Disney, Kate's Disney Birthday Bash 2024. Uh, I started it on the 7th and finished it on the 7th. It was really, really good. And I actually used my RTs at Everblend Art Markers for the base layer. And then I went in with the Faber Castle Polychromos, just giving it more depth, going in around edges. Actually, the this I didn't even use pencil on any of this. I would just basically use two colours of the RTs at Everblend Art Markers. And I went in with the, the lighter colour 
went in with the dark, went in again with the light, and then went in with the dark again, just to make it mix. Uh, and it worked out a treat. Um, but I really, really thoroughly enjoyed doing that one. Um, the next one I did was on live stream, which was the Cruella de Vil page. I've got tags in this galore because I was going to do some some more on live stream. Uh, where I find these, I, I should tag them before I even do it. It's in here somewhere, guys. That's the King Candy one. She's in here. <laughs> She's in here. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry about that. So uh, I coloured this page, which was, again, used with RTs at Everblend Art Markers during live stream. Um, it was for Kate's Colouring Havens, Kate's Disney Birthday Bash hashtag. Um, again, I, you, I started this on the 8th of January and finished it on the 8th. The, really quick and easy to do, actually, in, in some circumstances. Um, I haven't added any colour colouring pencils to this one. I didn't think it needed it, uh, but if it does, I will go in at some stage or another and just give it a once over. Um, I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. Uh, and Penny, bless her, um, she helped with the colour coordination and giving me uh, the picture to to help for reference. <laughs> so thanks, uh, Penny. And then the last but not least in this one was uh, King Candy that we coloured. Um, so with this one, let me just get my book. Uh, I used my art Arties at Everblend Art Markers. Uh, and I went in with the Artex pencils and Gold Spectrum Neo pen and White Gel pen. Um, I started this on the 12th and finished it on the 15th. So I think it's because I did one part on live stream and then I did a second part on live stream. Um, I think this one was near enough when I finished doing the live streaming. I think this was the last one. Um, and... Uh, I really enjoyed colouring this this one. And again, I needed some uh, guidance by using a, a picture on Google. Just fucking candy because I, I, I I'm not familiar with all the Disney characters' pictures because I haven't watched them for years, many years. I'm 37, 37 this year. And last time I watched any of these were years and years and years ago. So I just need some reference sometimes. But yeah, uh, the gold post, I think uh, you can see there, the gold spectrum Neo pen. Um, I did, I was going to use the Jelly Roll glaze pen on his eye, but I forgot to use that. And then I just use white gel pen on uh, the highlights and stuff. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed colouring this one. It was it was much much fun. I've got plenty more tags on in this book to colour, but we'll come to that later. So that's that one. Uh, the next book I want to show you is the Magical Dawn book. Um, this one recently I've been doing more and more hashtags on Instagram I wanted to be more included in Instagram um, so I popped onto Instagram and started writing down all the um, hashtags that I'd like to join in with um, and one of them was this one which was the moon page I call it <laughs> find it it's the only one in this book because I'm. It's the only one I've coloured. So yeah, this is the one that I coloured. I really like this one. Um, so with this one, oh, I um, let me find it again. I used my Prismacolor Premiers white gel pen and Prismacolor Colors Blender to have blend them out. Because um, I've noticed with the Prisma colours in this paper, you get the uh, the white bits still showing. So you definitely need the blender to just you know smooth it out. Um, and then I used my uh, Colour Cube number two seven nine from Sarah Renee Clark's Colour Cubes. 
I was stuck for colours on this one. I really was. And I've seen some absolutely fantastic pages for this hashtag, uh, which the, the hashtag is um, hashtag colour iron symbol magical dawn by Barbara Colour. Um, I started it on the 17th of January and finished it on the 17th. So it took me a day to do it. Um, I did use white gel pen on the white bits um, and on here. I think I think that's near enough pretty much it. I, but I really, really love the colour combination uh, for this one. And that's pretty much it, guys. I've not really coloured any other pages in this book. But I really want to colour some more Hannah Carlson's. Um, but yeah, I just loved how it turned out. I just love the colours. Really make it pop. And I've got to admit, for this hashtag, I've been looking at all the Instagram pages and everybody's done a fantastic job. The backgrounds and stuff on these are absolutely amazing. So well done, everybody. Um, so that's that one. The next one I want to show you, now you're going to have to give me a minute because I've got quite a few pages coloured in this one. Um, but this one was a buddy colour. Let me find it. This one was a buddy colour with my dear friend Penny. Uh, you'll also know her as... Oh, gosh. I haven't been on, on live stream for a bit, Penny. I do apologise. Uh, Silver Mist on YouTube. Uh, we decided... Well, Penny asked me if I wouldn't mind doing the colour along with her. Um... She'd already started doing the, I think it was the flowers she'd started doing. Um, so I ended up jumping on and we ended up body colouring together for this page. And um, all I used were Faber-Castell Polychromos, a uh, white Posca pen. Um, and I did use two... Sarah and A. Clark colour cube cards, which was like purples and pinks and then blues and, and yellows and stuff. So um, I didn't write down the the cards that I, I used. I must have forgot I've put them away and not wrote, wrote them down. Um, but I hashtag this as well for the general colour your hard. I should, should write them all down for colour your hard, to be fair. Uh, and complete with Affle. Because um, I think complete with Affley on Instagram is doing trying to complete the Circle of Life book as well, but uh, yeah, it was mainly a buddy color with Penny. So thank you so much for the color buddy color Penny. It was absolutely so much fun to do, and I really enjoyed it. And to be fair, I colored this while watching Friends. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I used white gel pen on on the butterfly on the butterfly on the bee wings, and then I added the white gel pen on here, and I did add a couple of extras. I added some white dots around the flower entrances as well, make it look better. I were debating whether to do the black background here. I may come back to it later and do the black background, but for now, I like it how, how it is. So that's that page. The next one I would like to show you is from Gnome Sweet Gnome's Teresa Goodridge Creative Haven book. Um, it's the only one I did, I've done in this one, but I did it mainly for, uh, I think it was complete with Ashley's, uh, I think it was Ash, yeah, com complete with Affley, sorry, um, to hashtag Goodridge in 2024. Um, I thought, oh, week coming up to February, be nice to colour a page to do with Valentine's Day. So <laughs> um, with this one, again, I used my Arteza Everblend art markers and then I went in with my polis and a white Posca pen, polis to just give it more depth. Um, it turned out not too bad. I really love these little birds. How I managed to uh, blend the blue blues together and the turquoise was really nice. But all in all, I do like it all, you know, all together. Um, it turned out nice. I really like it. Um, and I started this one on the 24th, finished it on the 25th. Um, no particular reason other than just to do the uh, Goodridge in 2024 hashtag on Instagram. So, uh, yeah, that's that one. I will call some more in that at some point. The next one 
I've got to show you is from Carla, Bag Carla Magana's Cosmetica. Uh, this was a body colour with Emily's Colouring Corner on Instagram. Um, she, Because I, I, I've been wanting some body colours, so I went to Instagram with a post and asked everybody if they wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't mind doing a body colour. And wow, the response was absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody, that offered to do body colours with me. Um, if I do turn you down, it's because I've got far too many to do at the moment. I currently, as it stands, I think I've got something like nine pages to do. I've got a few to do by end of February, and then I've got, like, um, others are unlimited. So sometimes I might take you on and uh, just stick you in there. Uh, if it's unlimited, then it's better for me because then I'm not having to feel like I'm rushed to do it. Um, so, yeah, anyway, we'll leave it at that for now. Um, well, I was getting everybody to pick a book, pick an artist, pick a book, pick an image, and then I'd just go along with it because I find it better. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, guys. We had somebody posting something, so the dog barked. She's a good, she's a good guard dog. Um, but yeah, um, so this is the page that uh, Emily's Coloring Corner decided to pick, and we went along with it. Uh, I think the time was unlimited, but because it's a small page, uh, it didn't take me long to do. So I used my Arteza Everblend Art Markers as a base. Then I went in with my Polies, Black Unipin Pen and White Posca Pen. I went with the Black Unipin Pen just to uh, give the eyelashes and, and around the edge, like mascara and stuff. So, uh, well, eyeliner and that. But, yeah, I really enjoyed doing this one, to be fair. White gel pen to make the diamond ring, you know, glisten in the light. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoyed doing that. And I think um, Emily's asked me to do another one and I haven't got back to it yet. So I do apologize, Emily. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, the next one was another buddy color, which is from uh, Coco Wild's Double Trouble. This one was a puppy love page. Um, I'll get to it. Oh, we've got a bit of sticky and it's come off at that side. <laughs> no, it's stuck. No, it isn't. I'll just pop that there. So uh, with this one, um, it was a buddy colour with Colour Me Happy, which is Sarah. Um, she used to join my live streams and we are following each other on Instagram. And she saw me post and asked me if I'd like to do this page with her. And I jumped at the chance. So, uh, this one I used again, um, my Arteza Ever Blend Art Markers as a base layer, and then I went in again with the Faber Castell Polychromos. Um, uh, and then I used my Pan Pastel Blue Pan Pastel around for the sky, uh, and a white Posca pen just to do on the eyes and you know, the hearts, you know, the shiny bits and the, to the mushroom toadstools. Uh, and then I went in with the holographic stars. This is the most handiest tool ever, uh, quickie glue. Uh, and I'll just show you now while this one's come off. <laughs> but you just, I don't even know where it's come off. There's no marker where it's come off. Where shall we put it? Uh It must have been at this side, so we'll we'll pop it here. It's not going to work for me now, is it? Oh, there we go. So it, it's like a, a wet volume, um, and then you just get the. I think I use I use this to pick it up, like so, and then just add it to that. And that's it. And then you just leave it and it, it goes, it dries on its own. It doesn't take long to dry. Um, but yeah, as you can see through the light, all the shiny little holographic sequin stars, it just made it a bit more sparkly. <laughs> so yeah, um, and that was that page. Um, as I say, it was, I, I used it as a hash off for January Colour Your Hard. 
uh, buddy colour. I started it on the 27th and finished it on the 27th. So it didn't take long for me to, to do it. I think when you've done the uh, base layer with markers, then it's so much easier to finish the whole page. But yeah, another one I really, really enjoy colouring. I'm going to put that to one side to let it dry. Uh, the next one was, we've only got two more left, guys. Uh, from Colouring Heavens Annual 2022. This one was a body colour with Mallory, uh, dash M dash colours dash on Instagram. Um, and I started it on the 28th and finished it on the 29th. Um, when I saw this page, I thought, oh goodness, it's, it's going to, you know, it's going to take me ages to do. But, uh, I persevered and I, I carried on going, um, but I've realised I need to be more, do more shading, you know, um, rather than constant, you know, because I with because I'm heavy handed. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I've gone really hard on the paper, uh, and it doesn't help when the paper quality in these books have got really poor. Um, but the the quality of the paper, you can tell when I've pressed on it's like creased. You might not be able to see it, um, but I just don't like how it's, you know, the finished product, it's all wrinkly and stuff because I've had to, I've pressed on, um, you can tell here. Yeah. But nevertheless, uh, I used my Faber-Picasso polychromos on this page, and then I used my black and white Posca pen and a gold glitter pen, which I got from the lovely Claire. Uh, I used the gold pen in this packet that she got me for Christmas. And this is what the outcome were. Um, really, really nice pens to use. And they come in handy for such a stuff like this. I don't know if you can see the, the shine and glitter on that. But it was absolutely gorgeous in person. Um, and then I just used my black Posca pen to do the borders around that. Because I wanted it to look like a window pane. Uh, but I also wanted it to have that... Um, you know, I know what word I'm looking for, but I can't. It's not on. It's on tip of my tongue, but like I wanted it to still have that sunset, sun sunrise scene, but obviously it's in window style as well, like a oh mosaic. So, but yeah, and I use white gel pen just to give you highlights on the cherries, and I wanted the the actual butterfly wings to look like a monarch butterfly. But I realised once I started colouring that the the combination for the pattern is different from that to the uh, monarch butterflies and butterfly monarch ones don't have this excess bit that pokes out so um i messed up on that but it turned out okay in the end i wish i'd have gone in with just the black posca pen to be fair and then went in with the orange but it's done and i really enjoyed it so thank you again malari for um for the buddy colour, it was really, really fun to do. I was just glad when I finished it. I'm like, oh, thank God. She's done an absolutely wonderful page. You can find all the finished pages on my Instagram for you to go and have a look. I've tagged everybody that I've colored the buddy coloured with. Um, so, yeah, that's that one. And then last but not least was the uh, the theme page for... Was it, no, the scavenger hunt page for my mythographic... Uh, coloring group on Facebook. The scavenger hunt page was the monkey page for last month. I find it, which was this one. Um, now, I, I like the pages. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous pages, but I think it's a bit too much. It's just all a bit too much. It's not my favourite book. I prefer the other ones. Um, but once I got started, I just thought I'd get it done. I were thinking of, of doing uh, mountains on the background with a, a lake, shimmering lake. But um, by the time I'd done... I'm like, no, that's it, I've done. I can come back to it later. And I've coloured each individual uh, little thing that you know that's inside um but yeah if you want to join in in these um scavenger hunts for the mythographic group if you go on facebook 
we have a group called uh, Mythographic Mythagoria Series Colouring Group. Um, and we do themes and scavenger hunts on there, so you can join in with us if you would like to. I will pop all relevant links in description for you for the colouring groups on Facebook. Um, with this one, I use my Prismacolor Premiers. I haven't used them for a while. Um, I do like them, but I don't think they're good for this book, in my honest opinion. I just don't think they, they, they don't jump out at you much. So, uh, but yeah, I use, I use my Prism, and that's all I used. Um, I started it on the 30th and finished it on the 30th. I was adamant I wanted to get one more page finished for, for that for the month of January. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad it's done with. <laughs> so that's all my completed pages for the month of January. Um, all in all, I, I completed 13 pages for January. I am open to get more completed for this month. So fingers crossed. Um, I have got plenty of body colours to keep me occupied. Uh, as it stands, I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight body colours to do. Um, so it'll keep me going. But I, if people want to still do ask to body colour, I will uh, certainly do it. Just hopefully pick unlimited time so it gives me time to you know i'm not like being time to do do finish pages but yeah all in all i really had a fantastic month in coloring pages i did some beautiful pages also i've got the scavenger hunts on kirby's group this month to do uh but i'm going to try and push it out and try and get as many done as i can for this month um so yeah if you watched the video all the way to this point thank you so much thank you for continuing to support my channel even though i'm not around i really do appreciate all your support um if you hang on uh in in just a short second you will see all my uh wonderful colorists from the fantasy world of kirby resins coloring groups scavenger hunt pages for the month of january they've done some fantastic pages so just if you can hang on and watch the video at the end, that'd be great. Again, thank you for watching. Take care. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up. Click that notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload any new content. If there's anything you want me to review or flip through, just drop me an email. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate your support. I hope to make it to 2K subs by, you know, I don't know, by March, hopefully. <laughs> I've, I think I've got like 200 left to, to get to 2k subs so let's get cracking uh, but yeah thank you so much everybody take care and have a wonderful weekend speak soon bye Just get